Stangibilisco here. I just thought of a very interesting way that CW can be used in the event that you are incapacitated and unable to speak, yet fully conscious and able at least to move your fingers. A car accident might produce an injury like this uh, so that you can't talk, you can hear, you're aware of all that goes around you, but you can't speak. Yet you can move your fingers in order to manipulate a key or keyer paddle, a Morse code transmitting device. If that were the case, and you were lying immobilized in a hospital bed, and it appeared that you were conscious but unable to communicate, if you had a note to the effect that you could communicate by means of Morse code, if you were provided with a audible, you know, an audio tone keyer, that you could communicate your desires, feelings, and other situational parameters that way, by Morse code, if you know the Morse code, of course. Well, that happens to be the case with me. I, well, I'm not in a situation where I'm disabled, at least not at the moment. But I do know the Morse code, and I can send on a code practice oscillator, preferably with a uh, iambic or uh, vibroplex type paddle, I could send messages even if I couldn't uh, speak aloud, if I could hear but not speak. I have a note on, on myself that actually says that in the event that I'm incapacitated in this way, you can use this method, set up a Morse code uh, keyer, a code practice oscillator that produces an audible tone, and I can send you my thoughts and other uh, feelings in Morse code. I have a note in my wallet that says this. Well, I guess the video did not, in fact, actually stop. I thought for a moment I had stopped my video. <laughs> so please forgive the lapse. All you need is a, a note to that effect on your person, which I have. And so if, if uh, on the way down to the store today I get into a car accident and I'm found immobilized in the emergency room in a hospital bed, unable to speak, unable to uh, move a muscle, except maybe my hands, uh, that I can, in fact, communicate by means of Morse code, provided I'm given the necessary code practice oscillator. I actually have a note in my wallet that says I can do this in such a situation. If you're a radio ham and you know the Morse code, you might do well to put a similar note in your wallet to that effect. And who knows? It might save your life. You might be able to tell people what's going on inside your otherwise immobilized body. And for example, I have pain here, I have pain there, this and that and the other. Just a thought uh, that, and I actually, like I said, have a note in my wallet that says, this about me. Just one of the more, um, one more of the myriad benefits of being a Morse code knowledgeable amateur radio operator. Oh boy, Stan, what are you going to think of next? Oh, forget it. Forget it. It's a good idea though, isn't it? Stan Gibalisco signing off. Until next time, so long.